Okay, hello everyone. My name is Jay Hawley from Hawley Media, and I am just going to show you guys a quick uh, tutorial on how I do my vignettes 90% um, of the time because I don't actually like the vignettes uh, that are handed to you in the effects uh, in Final Cut Pro 10 or X, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. So here is a clip I have um, from a video shoot I just did. And it's an awesome clip, there's a lens flare, I just, I just took five seconds of it. Um, but I really want to draw attention to her, which is the point of a uh, vignette, is to kind of, you know, you could, to really draw focus to where you want to do it, so... Um, and just, for some reason, my computer is making a lot of noise. It's having a hard time, but... Uh, Alright, so, I am just going to show you guys how to do a way more customizable vignette um, by using a shape mask. So. We have our clip and we want to come over here uh, to the color tab and we want to add a new color correction and when you do that you want to scroll down here to the add shape mask and that's where we're going to begin um, using this, it's a vignette but start using this new way of doing a vignette and as you can see it's uh, a lot more options with it. Um, you can really change the feather as big as you want, um, you can change it from a circle to a square or an oval to a square, which I'm doing right now. Uh, there's just a lot more options to really accomplish what you want to get done. Um, and you can just do the regular, uh, if you want to, you can just do the regular vignette. That's basically it right there. You can make it as big as you want. Um, and there's really no size limit on the feathering. So uh, if you really want a massive feather, it's, it's an easy way to do it. So after you have this and you positioned it where you want it, um, and just for the sake of this video, I'll just highlight right on her. That way we can really have a dramatic uh, effect and you can really tell what I'm doing. Uh, and so we'll go over here to the color correction. We'll click this and we'll go into exposure. And basically you're just gonna drop the uh, overall exposure of the image to give it that darkened edge effect. Oh, and I made a mistake, so let me back up. You want to, I'll undo that. You want to make sure that the shape mask uh, on the bottom is clicked to outside. And the reason you want to do that is because this now will affect everything I change, whether it's saturation, color, or exposure, will now be affected on the outside of the inner circle. Um, and if I click inside, uh, it will be affected on the inside. See, that's ugly. And if I want on the outside, now it will be affected on the outside of the circle. See? Okay. So now that I've cleared that up, I make sure it's clicked on the outside, which it is, perfect. Um, and then I can just go ahead and, and drop whatever one I want. So I'll just drop the global exposure, so the overall exposure, and uh, I'll just feather it just a little bit, and we'll just make it a little bit more on her. And drop it like this. Okay, and now we'll see what it looks like. See the difference it gives us. As you can see, it's really now very subtle effect, but it's, it's highlighting her a lot. Um, and it's great because she's the star of this video, obviously it's her music video. So I really want to make her pop as much as I can. So this is actually a good mask, I'd, pr I'd probably use this. Um, and another cool thing too with being able to use this uh, shape mask instead of a vignette, uh, say you want to add a cool effect, um, you can go over here to Global 2 and just make the corners, again, make sure it's clicked on the outside. You can uh, add in different color masks, which can be cool when done right. So if I do very subtle right there, and I just feather just a little bit more, I can come back here, um, and I'm not going to go into detail about this, but you can really add, uh, you can really make cool effects. See that? How it's really drawing into her, and she's her, I haven't touched her skin tone or anything, but I've really uh, highlighted her and it's great. I mean, it's, it's, it's much easier to use than the other vignette. Um, and that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. So basically that is how I do my vignettes 90% of the time, uh, because it's way more customizable and I think more usable in my opinion. Um, and if you disagree, you can go ahead and comment, uh, or, you know, do whatever you want. But, uh, I just wanted to show you guys that hopefully you can and give you guys some tools to better edit and uh, make better videos. So again, I'm Jay Holly from Holly Media and I'm uh, really happy that you stopped by and I hope I could help you.